welcome everyone uh, welcome to another uh, episode uh, another tutorial of uh, uh, mysql uh, database administration uh, this series is about mysql 8 and today we will be talking about uh, grants in mysql uh, like privileges in mysql and uh, we will talk uh, about how uh, we can grant uh, we can use a grant and how we can assign uh, multiple privileges to the uh, users and uh, let's say uh, like uh, now what is grant uh, grant is used uh, like uh, you can restrict the user to access uh, specific databases on tables and also uh, only specific operation like uh, select insert update or uh, any execute procedure like routines function uh, some and etc uh, for granting privileges to other users uh, you should have grant privileges like if you are a root user I or uh, you have been granted uh, with grant option any privileges uh, so grant cannot uh, one thing is uh, that uh, you cannot mix grant uh, uh, with uh, like privileges and roles cannot be mixed together while you are uh, using grant uh, you cannot use like grant select and any role name to any pr any user so roles and any privileges uh, these two cannot be uh, used together but yes you can uh, uh, like grant any uh, privileges or uh, role to a uh, any user but you should grant these two things in a separate uh, command so like uh, what you do is uh, grant one uh, at the first query you will grant uh, any privileges to the user and in the second query uh, what you will do that you will uh, grant any role uh, to the uh, users today uh, we will be only talking about the privileges uh, we will talk about the roles uh, in the next session because uh, uh, roles are introduced into mysql uh, after uh, in mysql 8 uh, it is not in mysql 5.7 so there's a brief uh, there's another brief uh, lecture we will have uh, about uh, roles okay so what we have is what you do is uh, we have uh, when you uh, what you do is we have two clause in the grant uh, the on clause uh, distinguish whether the statement grants uh, privileges or roles so with on the statement grants privileges and without on the statement grant role uh, just like when you do is uh, grant uh, insert on uh, like this on mean uh, add next dot db dot any table or db dot steric mean everything so that's how you do it if what you do is grant uh, any uh, role name okay then two that's a role then what you do is uh, like uh, then you give a username so we don't have on clause in this statement so that means so when you are not using the on that means you are going to assign a role uh, if you are using uh, on clause here that's mean uh, you are uh, granting any privileges to the user so now uh, we will have some examples about the privileges now we have multiple uh, I, I have some multiple uh, privileges here but okay so let's uh, create a user first uh, I'm going to create a user uh, DBA test and then we will grant some privileges to this one so what we have is uh, now if you uh, okay first let me show you uh, how you can check what kind of grants this one this user have so at the first uh, show grants for this user okay so now what this have is uh, grant usage this usage means uh, that uh, it's a synonym of uh, no privileges so this doesn't have any privileges right now okay uh, but you can connect through this user uh, if you want to connect to a database you can connect to this, uh, this user uh, currently okay so let's say uh, we have uh, let's say we want to uh, grant uh, some uh, uh, we have a database employee dot steric uh, to this database so this uh, user let's grant him uh, everything inside this employee uh, select on employees dot steric mean that any table of views or any procedure this guy have will be granted to this database uh, dba test localhost so now uh, if we do 
you see we have a uh, grant select on employees or steric to dbts so this can uh, select anything on this uh, you with uh, this user okay uh, if i do uh, my sql minus u uh, that says what's the username db test and minus p password okay so now uh, this user can select uh, uh, let's say uh, use employee okay you see localhost at localhost employees okay you see uh, it's only because if I had any database employees and then it would be allowed to employ then uh, if it was employees uh, I can use this now employees but uh, as you see uh, even I don't have this employee database but I still gave the access denied for this user because it is not allowed to access so it even didn't check uh, that the database is available or not because uh, what this does first that uh, whenever you create uh, anything uh, when you do the query uh, SQL Server uh, first, first check the privileges so it doesn't have any privilege on the employee so it uh, denied it so that means that I'm currently only uh, allowed to access employees and the information schema because I need to access this show databases and this all information is available inside this information schema. So by default it comes uh, with information schema. Uh, okay. So uh, now I can uh, show tables. Uh, let's say, and I can access. Uh, I can only insert uh, or sorry, only select from these tables now. I cannot insert into this table okay next is uh, let's say uh, I can do multiple uh, uh, insert and update uh, let's say uh, I have this uh, DB1 uh, let's say I have this test database here in my okay so I can grant him uh, this uh, user uh, select insert update like I can do multiple uh, privileges in one go like this so now if I do show grants for this guy uh, so it's have a select insert update and test uh, and all these privileges this have so now if I do show tables uh, sorry uh, show databases uh, the test should come here so now because this have uh, this test uh, this, uh, you can access the test so now it can get the information about the test from the information schema okay so now uh, it doesn't have this access about the information schema uh, at the first but when you do uh, anything uh, any grant him anything on any database so this information the tables and database information is stored in information schema so it also gets uh, access on the information schema as well okay so next we have is uh, uh, let's suppose I showed you show grants and if I want to uh, see show grant for my current user like this user I am connected to uh, this DBA so it will DBA test so it's showing for himself that what kind of uh, grants I have so if you want to check your grants uh, so you will check for current user okay uh, next we have revoke okay so how we can revoke so let's suppose I want to revoke uh, let's say I, what we granted before this was insert so insert on test dot steric from uh, this uh, DBA test let me revoke that okay so this has been revoked now and let's say uh, current so you see we don't have insert anymore okay so insert has been revoked from uh, DBA test localhost so okay so this was that was for revoke and uh, another thing we have is partial revokes okay what partial revokes is like uh, if a database have uh, or uh, this means uh, uh, this guy let's say let me let me give this uh, grants on all of this okay and grant I have what I have done is to grant select insert database on the whole uh, instance uh, any database this uh, have is show grant so this have uh, anything and when I do show databases it sh every database should come okay so this have insert on uh, any database on this uh, localhost so it can access uh, those databases 
Okay. You see, I had to uh, exit and connect it again. Okay, because uh, sometimes you need to flush uh, the privileges table, so it knows uh, like I have the uh, so it reload the privileges table. So okay, so now you see uh, after doing this command, grant select insert update on all. So it's a global privileges that it has access to every database. So now if you see. Uh, the sh after show databases, uh, MySQL also came, uh, performance schema also came, DB1 also came, and test 2 and all this come. So now uh, what I can, uh, so this have this global privileges. So uh, now what I want to give him partial privileges. I mean that I want to revoke any whole database. So I will uh, revoke some and this is called partial privileges like I want to say is uh, I want to revoke insert update from uh, db one to localhost. So now okay there is no such grant defined for the user data dba test at localhost. Okay so currently we don't have this but we what we can do is revoke uh, because if we haven't given this uh, insert update so that's why it's uh, not uh, we have this issue but we can do is like you can revoke any partial uh, grants from uh, the user uh, and uh, let me do that I think I should help uh, this one let's, let's say I revoke select and on employees dot static so now what I have done is I have removed some partial uh, grants from this user so it this partial uh, is only uh, can be done because uh, this is not uh, the error we got is because this is zero so only if this is uh, can only be done when this is set to one so that's why I think we got this error so the there is no such grant defined to the user on the local host error because uh, this was zero so if this is on then we can do this partial thing okay so uh, just wanted to tell you that there is something we have in uh, partial revokes in uh, this Oracle uh, sorry in MySQL so this is this is what about this uh, what do you say this partial revokes and one more thing is that once this is enabled uh, partial revokes cannot be disabled if any account has uh, privileges restriction uh, if any uh, such account exists disabling partial revokes fails okay so for attempts to dis disable partial revokes uh, at startup the server logs an error message and enables it enables the par uh, re partial revokes again okay so for if you want to attempt the disable uh, the partial revokes on runtime uh, an error will be occur and the partial revokes value remains unchanged so this is uh, how this partial uh, revokes if you go for uh, revoking this again then these are the problem you will get so now in, qu in case you want to disable this uh, partial revoke uh, in in case so first what you have to do is to you have to modify each account uh, that has partial revoked privileges uh, either by regranting the privileges or by removing uh, the account so uh, this is how you have to do it uh, okay so but next is that mysql does not automatically revoke any privileges when you drop the database or table so if you drop a table or uh, if you uh, what you if you drop any database uh, it will not uh, remove any privileges so currently let's say i have uh, because uh, if you see update on test and update on static all if I what I have to do is like uh, show databases here uh, we have this test database okay uh, show databases and you see we have uh, select update on test and uh, what I have to do is drop database test okay so database has been dropped but if I check the grants I still have this uh, select update on test so this means uh, if you show, see the show databases I uh, don't have the test database anymore but I still have this select update uh, 
on test uh, to this user you see so this is what I wanted to show you so however if you drop a routine like routines are function and uh, uh, what do you say function and procedure so then uh, any routine level privileges uh, granted for the data routines are revoked so if you have any procedure uh, or a function if you drop them then the privileges assigned to any user will also be revoked so that's how it's uh, worked uh, for the partial and uh, about the drop table and ab about the routines so next we have is uh, global pri privileges uh, which I have told you that if I go for uh, grant all on db8 uh, so this what I have done is I have given everything okay so everything on this instance I have assigned to this uh, db test uh, at localhost means that it can only connect from the localhost it cannot connect from this uh, massive workbench it will give me error okay okay so next uh, we have uh, let's say I want to uh, give him global privileges but only for select insert on static okay so this is how we can do it uh, it already have this grant but uh, sorry but it's just to show you the query like how things can uh, how things can be done next is have we have database level privileges uh, like let's suppose uh, let me create a database my db and if i want to grant him uh, anything inside this my db dot static means that anything inside this table and this database will be granted to uh, dba test local host okay now if i want to uh, yes i can also grant any select insert on my db dot static uh, that means that only my db okay and nothing else not other databases but only my db and inside the my db you can get access ex select and insert access to any of the table but you cannot update any of the table because i haven't granted the update okay next is uh, uh, table level privileges uh, let's uh, use uh, this one and create a table okay and we have uh, my table and uh, let's say show tables we have a one table and I if I want to grant him uh, show grant all uh, all means that any anything any privileges on so this is uh, now a DBA for this table okay so this can any do anything it can alter it can like uh, drop or something at whatever it is want to do uh, to this table so let's say show grants for this have a lot of uh, uh, let me do it like this so so this have like now a lot of uh, because we have given him uh, grants for everything you see all so when you give him all uh, it gets uh, like hell of a privileges so this is what I wanted to show you so never ever give uh, all privileges to any user okay so next we have is a table level page which I have shown you and next we have column level okay uh, so like uh, uh, what I have done is like uh, I can grant uh, this thing as well I hope so the query works fine okay so what I have done is uh, grant select on only C1 only column 1 uh, okay because if you see the table I have created we have here uh, C1 column and name column so what I have shown him that you can select on C1 and you can insert on C1 and uh, name column okay so insertion can be done on both but you can only select C1 and on my DB dot table the table uh, this database uh, inside the database this is the table name where you can do this so this is the username so this is how you can uh, you can go for table level selection if you want to uh, grant any table level privileges okay table level and then column level so this is how you can uh, like fine grain your uh, grants and security level this till this you can do the uh, all the things then we have uh, store procedure uh, I created a one store procedure here in my database uh, in this employee database and if you want to grant uh, let's say I want to grant create routines to my data uh, my user so grant routines means that this guy can create procedures now and this guy can create functions okay so only 
function and procedure not triggers okay routines are only function and procedures okay uh, so this guy i have this uh, get all products uh, all all products inside that i have changed it uh, employee titles so uh, if i want to grant uh, now let's grant him uh, execute okay so uh, this guy can now uh, this is how you can tell him to you can execute employees dot grant uh, procedure so execute grant on procedure okay uh, so this is not on the database this is on the procedure this is an object uh, which which object employees dot get all products so this is the object name and we have telling him that we are not using ta this time database we are using a procedure uh, like an object and to this user so this is how you can grant any procedure uh, or function so you can do this like that